This week's Torah portion, Parshas Truma, begins the instructions for the construction of the tabernacle. The construction of the tabernacle as the Jewish people were traveling to Israel in the desert. And because we live in a world where we have no tabernacle, or we have no temple in Jerusalem, it's often very difficult to relate to these portions of the Torah. But if we study them closely, there are often beautiful insights that are very relevant to our contemporary lives. And I heard such a beautiful insight by Rabbi Larry Rothwax, a rabbi in New Jersey. And what he shared is if you study the construction of the, the temple and of the tabernacle, you find that there are really three sections in the building. The first section can be entered by any Jew. You don't have to be a Kohen, you don't have to be a priest to enter into the Mishkan, to enter into the Beis Amikdash, the temple. But then you reach a line. You reach a point that only the Kohanim, only the priests are able to travel further. And while it's true that I or other Israelites would love to see the menorah or the different parts of the temple, there are parts that are off limits. We can only go so far. And still, as you travel further into the structure, you reach the Holy of Holies, where even the Kohen has to step back. Even the Kohen has to realize, Ad Khan, I can't go any further. That the Holy of Holies can only be entered by the Kohen Gadol, the high priest on the holiest day of the year, on Yom Kippur. And Rabbi Rothwax quoted from Rabbi Soloveitchik that these three sections of the tabernacle, these three sections of the temple, represent three parts of our personalities. There's a first part of our personality that everyone is entitled to interact with, that each of us gives of ourselves, shows ourselves to our friends, our family, our co-workers, even strangers that we meet in the street, get a feel for a sense of our personalities. But as you enter further into our inner chambers of, our, of ourselves, there's a point that we don't share everything with strangers. We don't share everything with our co-workers, with everyone we come into contact with. There's a part of our personalities that you need to be part of the family, maybe a, a close friend or a family, a confidant. A certain point, you need to reach a certain threshold to be able to enter that part of our personalities. And still further, there's part of our personalities that we pretty much don't share with anyone, that even our closest friends, even our family, aren't privy to entering the Holy of Holies of our personalities. We live in a world where these lines are often blurred, especially in our world of social media. You find that so many people are just sharing everything with everyone, that there are no lines, there are no boundaries. People willing to share their heart and soul with just anyone online who's willing to read it. And we need to remember that in Judaism, Judaism is a religion of humility, of privacy, of modesty. And in order to live a life of these values, we need to realize that there are these boundaries and that there are these parts of our personalities and there are parts in the temple that are holy, holy of holies, that are not for everyone and need to be kept more private. I wish you all a wonderful Shabbos.